Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with a quadratic equation uh, where you have the factors already. In other words, the brackets haven't been multiplied out. Um, okay, so example one, solve x plus 3 multiplied by 6x minus 9 equals 0. You'll notice that there appears to be two factors, two brackets already. Now, as long as it's equal to 0, this is important, as long as it's equal to 0, we don't need to multiply this out. We already have our factors. And because it's equal to zero, we've already talked in our big idea video that something multiplied by something gives you zero. Well, then we're allowed to write each factor equal to zero separately. So what we can do is we can put x plus three equals zero or six x minus nine equals zero. And then we solve those equations separately. And you can see here with this one, x plus 3 equals 0. We just simply bring the plus 3 over. It becomes x equals minus 3. That's one of our answers. And with this one, we have to get 6x on its own. So we get 6x equals 9 because you bring the minus 9 over and you get 9. And then x is equal to 9 divided by 6, which breaks down to 3 over 2. So the two answers are minus 3 and 3 over 2. They're the roots. Notice that we didn't have to do any factorizing here. It was already done for us. In example two, we have um, x bracket x minus seven is equal to zero. Notice it's equal to zero, so we don't need to multiply the bracket out. We already have a factor x and another factor x minus seven. So we use our big idea to put each factor equal to zero separately. So we get x equals zero and x minus seven equals zero. This one is solved, x is zero. This one, we have to get the minus seven over to the other side and we get x equals seven. So they're the two um, roots of this uh, sum. Okay, in our next example, in our next example, we I put stars beside this one because this one is a little bit different than the previous two. Can you spot what's different about these guys? Yeah. It's not equal to zero, it's equal to 10. So when you have something that's factored already, but it's not equal to zero, it's equal to some number, then unfortunately we have to simplify it out first. So we're gonna multiply x by x and x by minus three. Now, when you do that, you get x by x is x squared and x by minus three is minus three x is equal to 10. Now we have a quadratic, see the x squared and the equals, but we have to make it equal zero. So how we make it equal to zero is we bring the 10 over to the left. And you get this equation here, x squared minus three x minus 10 equals zero. You'll notice that this has become a trinomial. The signs are gonna be different. So we do our rough work. And when we do our rough work, uh, which we've uh, learned already in factors, and um, we use our x factor. The signs are different. The possible factors are one multiplied by 10 and two multiplied by five. The signs are gonna be different. Uh, I think two and five will work. Two times x is two x, five times x is five x. If I make the uh, two positive and the five negative, when you add these together, you get a minus three x, which matches the middle. So I know my factors are correct. So it's x plus two in one bracket multiplied by x minus five in the other bracket equals zero. And because it's now equal to zero, we're allowed to put each factor equal to zero separately. And we get x plus two equals zero or x minus five equals zero. And we solve both those equations and we get x equals minus two and x equals five.